Do you ever wonder as you wander through the wilderness, do trees have patterns? Hi everyone, it's me, Carrie from the Wilderness Center, and today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite things, trees <coughs> and math. In the early spring, before leaves have sprouted and filled our yards and forests with lots of green, it's a perfect time to look a little closer at the branches. Trees, as you may know, are plants. Just like flowers, they have roots and stems and leaves and flowers and seeds. Each part of the plant has a special job. But you may be thinking, geez, this tree looks nothing like a flower. But really, they are very similar. Roots hold both in place and help bring up water and nutrients from the soil. The stem, or the trunk, helps move food and water up and down and supports the leaves. Leaves collect sunlight to make food, whether it's a dandelion or a mighty oak. And on trees, all of these leaves have to spread out to collect the sun, which is done by the branches. Branches on trees have specific patterns, and if you can understand them, recognize them, and remember a clever little funny phrase, your native tree identification skills will be tremendous when it comes to deciduous trees, the kind with broad leaves. This trick doesn't work for pine trees. First, let's understand them. Branches and leaves come in three different patterns. There's alternate, opposite, and world. Let's just focus on the first two. Alternate branches and leaves sprout at different places along the trunk or the branch. They take turns. They alternate. Opposite branches and leaves sprout directly across from each other. It's really important to realize that a lot of branches might look like they're both opposite and alternate. So you need to look at more than one spot on the tree. So here's a branch, for example. This only has one coming off, so you might think it's alternate. But if you look closely, there are some very perfect opposite branches. And math is perfect. Here's an example of alternate branches. And here's an example of opposite branches. Once you get the hang of this, learn this great phrase, mad buck. In Ohio, there are four common native trees that have opposite branches, maple, ash, dogwood, and buckeye. Put those together and you've got mad buck. Now head outside and take a look at the trees around your backyard or your favorite nature hangout. Once you get good at recognizing these, you can even learn to identify trees from far, far away. Pretty cool nature stuff, don't you think? Well, thanks for logging in today. I would like to thank you for letting us share our love of nature with you. It's been a real treat. Until next time when we wander and wonder together through the wilderness.